Um, I think moving uh, on to the next speaker, uh, Shaquille Sharif from uh, Voluntary Action Sheffield. I think this is going to hopefully connect um, in, 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 in ways that, that we're starting to see uh, some, some narratives emerging. So, Shaquille, are you here with us, ready to present? I I am. Can you hear me okay there, Gareth? Fantastic. Lovely to see you. And uh, over to you. Right, okay. Well, my presentation is called Story to Tell. My name is Shaquilla Sharif and I'm the Food Coordinator at Voluntary Action Sheffield. I am glad to be here today. I don't actually normally work Saturdays, but uh, when I agreed to come here, I thought it was kind of getting a, a free meal or something because it was a Feeding Sheffield event uh, and a festival of debate. But, uh, well, here we go. Zoom, here I am. But then I remembered there's no such thing as a free lunch. So my sweet and sour presentation is about food and poverty. What do I do at VAS? And what would I like to see? So what I'd like to do is tell you a little story. Let's start with the four W's. Now for the academics, I can't even say that word, for the academics amongst you, I hear, well, I've seen there's a few of you here today, you'll know what I mean. The why, the what, the where and the when. But don't worry, if along the way, this all turns into a plate of mash. Maybe I'll leave that for another day. So in 1954, Mr. Maslow talked about the basic human needs. He was right on, he really was, when he said we need affordable food, decent housing and health and well-being. So get your teeth around that. We're still talking about it. Affordable, healthy, nutritional, meat, veggie, halal, gluten-free, or other dietary requirements, and not forgetting culturally appropriate and accessible, well, accessible too. And that's just the food. Hard not to crack. Now, our friends at the food banks, who I get on really well with, by the way, in Sheffield, they had a big ask in 2020 when the big C hit. They did what they could, and at one point in the pandemic, increase was well over 80%. They did provide uh, VAS with lots of data, and the increase was massive, but they're still here to tell you the tale. So is it really food, glorious food? Why do we talk about food poverty? Do we mean just poverty, or are we making a meal out of nothing? Food banks, they provide a parcel of food following the AB, maybe a doctor or your midwife too. So when the pandemic hit, there was no pasta, beans and flour around. Oh, and not forgetting the, the loo rolls. And that's, that's when this job, my job, came about. But somebody else was doing that before me. I've only been doing it for six months. Now, now that the paper, the flour and the pasta is back on the shelves, the agency to share the numbers and data isn't quite here, although I'm still working on it, I'm trying to get more. But let's not sugarcoat the problem. We do, we do know that food hunger, so one of the issues that came to light in the pandemic was the BME food bank users that we've not really seen before. The pop-up BME food banks almost overnight, including Halal One, came into sight. The issue was that many of the food banks are in churches. So what do you do when you don't go to a church? I had heard that what if you don't eat canned beans and would prefer dal? And that's lentils for those of you that don't know. Mm, well, but we do need halal food banks, I think, or, sh or should we just have food banks that are providing mainstream food? Like our mainstream services, 
but that's a, a conversation for another day that's mainstream services so hang on a second do we need more banks or is it about inclusivity and working together and needing extra bank notes food banks community shops food projects growing food cab advice debt support homelessness domestic abuse and addictions too not forgetting independent food aid network too are all the kind of places that i work with let's not forget the campaigning that we do in vaz we talk about it all the need for more money better health and well-being and a big shout out for all the hubs that we run to council food poverty working group and collaboration plan and maybe a food strategy too we're talking about that aren't we gareth uh, and we're all going in the right direction oh and not forgetting the work at the council too and that's with colin somehow all these ingredients sit in my job Mixing up the mixture and joining up the dots is what I do. The Volcom sector is a channel to the real communities and the real world. Food cuts across all the communities and not just the Sheffield postcode boundaries. Regardless of race, colour, shape, size, religion, origin, we all need to eat. For some, a curry is their Friday treat but it's about educating and making choices and healthy lifestyles too. Last but not least, have you heard of HAF? Holiday. Now in Sheffield this summer, for kids that are getting free school meals, there will be a great summer experience on holiday activities, fun and play and a meal. How is that for a deal? At VAS, I'll be supporting that too. And that's working with the council as well. And many of you that are already here. So now I have done my what, why and when, let's quickly think of the how. Now, I do think all this kind of needs, we do really have to nurture and nourish our partnerships to make them really wholesome, good value for money, a bit like a decent buy one, get one free. And maybe even at some point, we can all sit down and have a real cup of tea. At VAS, I promote voluntary action. I try to engage with those that aren't easy to engage with. About communities, do I care? Information and intelligence is what I like to share. I do have a hunch you ain't getting a free lunch but I shall leave you with some food for thought for the food knowledge that you have sought because you know food really does make the work go round so let's all work together that so no person has to go hungry but most of all we really do not want to live in poverty thank you and that was my story that I wanted to tell you I hope you liked it I, I certainly did, Shakira. There was there was poetry, uh, and I lost count of the food references. You you were weaving so many beautiful food references in there. Um, thank thank you. you so much. Thank you very very much. Okay. Um, See you tomorrow. Yes, you will indeed. You will.